guys and gals. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a viewer-created challenge. It is called the Aquaphobic Mage Challenge, created by good friend of the channel, Captain Kirk. What's going on, Kevin? Right up here on the screen is Susie. Hi there. This is our undead mage. And this is a custom challenge created by one of my viewers. You can find the rules in the very first episode. This is the second episode. We're going to get back into it. Looks like we're dealing with the Scarlet Crusade this episode. We're currently level five. Five and a half. Hope you guys and gals are doing well today. I'm not doing too bad. We need some armbands, I believe. That's what we're doing here. Clear skies tonight, looks like. No chance of rain. It would not be good if it rained. No, it would not. It's a pretty hard trigger for us. Water is a hard trigger for us. Is there leather? Can't wear leather. Let's have a let's feast on a corpse. So eating a corpse does nothing for our mana. I look like it was our mana regeneration was increased when we were eating, but I would say definitely not the case. <clears throat> We are uh, level five, which means we can choose professions. And we're going to. I'm still a little bit undecided on how I'm going to go. I'm going to check the auction house when we get to the Undercity. And just to get a, get a feel for how many things are there, how many people on the server, I don't think it's heavily populated at all. And the reason that matters to me is because... If we've got a good chance of selling stuff on the auction house, I was going to pick up two gathering professions. And we would just sell the materials and we would stockpile a little bit of money. And then we would choose a profession, uh, like a production profession. But I think what we'll do instead of doing that... Um, I think I'm going to go tailoring... I don't know what else to pick up with tailoring. Tailoring, you, you, you're you mainly using the cloth that you pick up. And, of course, like thread and stuff like that. Oh, I missed. We'll figure it out. Alchemy herbalism is always, you know, kind of safe, but it's also kind of boring. I believe it's going to be tailoring because I like the idea of making my own clothes to wear. Yeah. So, if you happen to, you know, catch this and not the first episode and wondering why I'm not drinking or conjuring any any water is because we are not allowed to. And we're never going to use this. <laughs> We are never... Well, never mind. I mean, that's our passive, but we're never going to be underwater. We would completely freak out if we were underwater for any reason. And that's part of our backstory. Probably end up getting the RP add-on, like I mentioned it. I should have already gotten it, but this is actually the same day as the first episode for me. It's just later in the evening.
And I believe I'm just going to go fire. I think arcane is really good too, but... I don't know a lot about mages, but the reason I want to go fire is because it's the opposite of water. Kind of makes sense to do that in this challenge. All add-ons are allowed. If you're curious about what add-ons I'm using, just... Just ask. If you're wondering, like, the map, what's going on with the map up here, it's uh, it's called Sexy Map, and it's really interesting. You can choose from different... Uh, but that's kind of cool. You guys want to go with that for a while? We do, E. Let's... Um, I don't want coordinates on the map. I like a little cleaner. The other thing I like to do is change the font color of the clock... And we're a mage, but I'm going to go red here. We go the opposite of water, like blue, whatever. All right. Two more. We're going to be slaying this guy. Like Mevin Corgal or something? Yeah, I can't believe I remembered that. It is Mevin Corgal. Seems backwards. person here. She looks like she's minding her own business and that's not acceptable. One thing I might be doing and may have already done it. You may have seen a little cinematic at the beginning of this. I mean, aside from my character intro, I might be doing some cinematics from time to time. The first time I did that was in our Lord of the Ring challenge. We've done two Lord of the Ring challenges. Yes, we have. And the first one, there was a lot of little cinematics and stuff I was doing. I did not get the armband. <laughs> yeah. I feel like there was another character I played where I did the exact same thing I just did. I ran off thinking... What I was thought was I just had to kill 12 of the Scarlet Crusade, but no, I... I need the actual armbands they carry. We got a rogue here. Well yeah. done. I think that's a rogue. Yeah. Let's give him some uh give him some intellect there. Doesn't really do much for a rogue. Actually, it increases a doesn't it increase your crit chance, right? Yeah, it increases your mana points and chance to score a critical hit with spells. Oh, it increases the rate at which weapon skills improve. So, unless he's trying to level a weapon, yeah, intellect isn't very good for him because he has no mana and he doesn't use spells. I don't think he does. We got people in the starting zones, which is. Um, I did not expect to see, but the first episode we had, I saw like four or five people. We're also using the voiceover add-on. What would you ask of death? Nothing. If only they listened to reason, eh, adventurer? Perhaps we could sit them down for reasonable discourse. Ha <laughs> ha! Light-blinded fools. We're going to take the sword. It sells for more, and we can't use that. Reports from my superiors in Brill indicate that an agent of the Scarlet this Crusade is was dispatched from the Scarlet Monastery and sent here to Death Knell. According to the reports, the messenger possesses important information on his person. I do not have further details, but whatever it is, we must have it. You're the most qualified person I have to send, adventurer. Find that messenger and bring me whatever information you can find. It's pretty sad if I'm the most qualified. And you are... Uh... 
and sell all of that. Victory for Sylvanas. The name is Susie. So when I first logged into this character, I was down the basement just kind of getting stuff set up, you know, so you guys wouldn't have to see getting my bar set up and all that. But a player created a character at the same time. We spawned in basically at the same time, and she ran up. We were dancing together and cheering at her, and she said, uh, a very cool name, 10 for 10. Made me happy. I like this name, too. If you don't know, Susie down here... It's uh, it's after Susie and the Banshees. It's spelled the same, same way that she spelled it. Spelled her name. Let's go ahead and get completely rocked. Okay, well I can miss that, and then I can get rocked. We can do either way. Well done. Okay, we're going to have to change that because I can't have a dwarf congratulating me. That is in Questy. That's in Questy options. Let's see. Let's move this stuff. It doesn't really matter because this stuff doesn't it disappears. If you go to uh, Questy options, it's going to be right down here. We'll do undead female, right? What else would we do? Here we go. Congratulations. I'll take that. Yep, this will be it. We will those shuffle us out into Tearsfall Glades. This had better be good. Hmm. Let's see what you've got. Some news of their exploits against us. Worthless. Scouting reports. New orders. Continue to build up a camp near the ruined city. Nothing we didn't know already. Ah, what's this? A map of the dispositions of some of their field commanders and agents. We can use this. These will need to be taken to my superior, Executor Zygand, in Brill. With this information, we'll be able to deal a decisive blow to the Scarlet Crusade. Your services have been useful here in Death Knell, but I need someone to deliver this to Zygand, and I believe he'll be able to find you more appropriate work. Take the road north out of Death Knell. Soon after entering Tirisfall proper, you'll hit a crossroads. Take the Eastern Fork and keep going east. You'll pass Cold Hearth Manor along the way. Speak quickly. Okay. Beware the living. Beware the living. Definitely beware of the living. Alrighty, we will pick up a breadcrumb trail. You always, when you leave your starting area, you, there's always a quest that leads you to the inn in your, call it your, I guess your first zone. I mean, technically this is your first zone, but... Where's the old moon at? I don't see it. Uh, no. <laughs> hey, mate. Do a favor for a young man who's been fighting more than his fair share of mindless zombies and spiders. I got this here letter that needs to go to Brill. To an innkeeper named Renee, something or other. Don't really matter none what her last name is. Anyway, it's a nice, cozy little place full of victims of the plague, trying to make their way in the world. And it'd be a great spot for you to rest, too, if the need arises. You should check it out. You do. And I'll pay you well. Okay. <laughs> hmm. 
What have we here? You look like a fledgling adventurer. If you hope to prove yourself to the Dark Lady, you need to learn the ways of the Forsaken. To the west, you'll find a farm. Humans infest the land like mold on a rotting corpse. And worse yet, the Scarlet Crusade patrols nearby from their tower. Teach those scum a lesson and steal ten of their precious pumpkins. Once you have ten, take them to Apothecary Johan in Brill. Well, fortunately, they're precious. I don't know, like... Stealing pumpkins? Is that a, uh... Is that devastating? It is if, if they're precious. Then it's devastating. Um... I think this is a single pole here. I have to be kind of careful here. It's not a permadeath challenge, but again, I don't want to die. I'll do my best not to. Might have to change this map. It's a little too distracting up here. It looks cool, but it's a little too distracting. I like the either the wooded frame or the simple square. We're going to go simple square. That's what we're going to do here. And let me just reposition these. These will disappear when I move my mouse. I kind of like that. I like hiding my add-ons. Whatever makes the interface a little bit cleaner is good for me. Could be a named NPC here. And I think you actually get his pants, if I remember correctly. Yeah, pretty sure that's a thing. But I don't know if he's in Classic. I think he's in TBC and later. Bugged out a little bit there. I think his name is Farmer Ray or something like that. Or Farmer Gets. One or the other. Is there anybody in there? Oh, okay. I didn't mean to do that. Right. Let's uh, wolf down that corpse. Some of that human bum meat. Sure, it's the first thing we go for. He's not in here. Interesting. He might be out in the field. I think he can be in different places. I don't think it's a rare mob. At least not here. I wonder why he didn't run off. Latency's a little high. Alright, we're looking for pumpkins here. He'll have a hat on, the NPC. If we had Frostbolt, if we were able to use Frostbolt, these mobs probably wouldn't even be able to get to us. Wouldn't be able to touch us. there. There's a chicken. Hello, chicken. Good old classic loot speed. Uh. 
You didn't run very far. I'm not running from you. I don't know when we're going to get Blink, but that's going to come in handy. Mage has a lot of really cool abilities. Portals and things like that. Now, we can conjure food. We just can't... And we can conjure water. We just can't use it or drink it. We don't want it, so... But we will learn conjure food. Help out a little bit. We can also eat food that gives us a spirit buff, which uh, is good for us. Scarlet Warrior. Uh, we did level up, and I didn't even really pay attention. We have Conjure Food, Fire Blast. Oh, we need to rank. We need to go see a trainer right away. There is a mage trainer in over here. I can't remember what it's called. It's over there. We'll finish this quest, and we will do that. We got people questing together. It's always cool to see. Let's get our last pumpkin and we'll get out of here. Don't don't get me. He's definitely gonna get me. Congratulations. I don't, I don't know how we did not. Hold that. Let's give this guy... Oh, he's already got intellect. Give him some intellect there. Alrighty. Should run into Gordo. He'll have a task. To collect a certain, it's either gloom weed or doom weed. He's got it backwards. He doesn't know what he's doing. He patrols the road. Here he is. He will swing a meat cleaver at you if you talk to him. But don't be frightened. He can't hurt you. <laughs> There he goes. Collect three Gloomweed and deliver them to Junior Apothecary Holland in the Brill. Master wants weeds. Us gots big hands and not good at picking. You help us and we not hurt you. Us need Gloomweed. Many weeds around here and near road. When you have Gloomweed, you take to Master Holland and Brill Graveyard. He talks like I do. I mean, he's, he's a little bit... I'd say he's a little bit more fluent in English than I am. I'm still learning. Still learning. There's a rare hound around here. It's called Bane. I don't remember what it drops. There's two types of dust backs, well, at least two. The vampiric ones will attack you. I've seen a lot of people. Maybe uh, the server might be... It might be active enough to actually benefit from using the auction house. We'll, we'll see. That's a level eight. Don't really want to fuck with the level eight. Let's 
seven. I'm gonna watch out for water. I can't be anywhere near it. So I have to keep it out of my sight. We somehow pulled that. And we just outrun them. Well, just we'll lose them is what we'll do. We'll grab this one. Oh, still water pond. I gotta be careful here. We don't want to freak out. About as close as I want to get to water. We don't want to see it from our first person view. Congratulations. Thank you. There's a tailor trainer in here, I'm pretty sure. Also, in some version of the game, there is a rare bat out here. It's a big giant black. Bat. I think it's called Needler. Journeyman Taylor. What is it? Pleased to make you acquaintance. May I help you? What's interesting about how they did the um, the primary skills, they cost so much less. The secondary skills are like a silver, I think. But we're going to pick up tailoring. We can train that. Farewell. We may as well... Uh, I'm listening. We're going to need... We're gonna hang on to that. We're gonna need that. These are all quest items. Oh, I thought Goodbye. she was. Wait, what does she have there? What is it? Two spirit. It's two silver. Requires fifty-five. Okay, I'm gonna. Embrace I'm gonna pass it up for now because we're gonna we're gonna learn three things, and I I think they're a silver apiece. Maybe a little more. All right, let's get to Brill. I was trying to remember the name of this town. What are you looking for? Scourge have trickled into Tirisfall Glades and have infested the area west of Brill near the old bridge. Go there and beat back the rotting dead and ravaged corpses you find. Scatter their bones and bring back their putrid claws and the Death Guards will reward you. Okay. This better be good. What's this? Gloomweed? I've no need for gloomweed. That mindless mass of flesh is out there picking daisies and convincing the lady knows how many dupes like you into doing the same. No offense. Very well, you're here now, and that's all that matters. Since I'm not going to bother to try to explain things to that abomination, how about you collect what I really need? Doomweed. So, you can see the predicament that I am in, adventurer. That thing is out there collecting the wrong weeds. I'll make it worth your while to gather what I need. Bring back to me enough doomweed and I'll give you a suitable reward. It is my understanding that they like to plague the flora near the mass gravesite, to the north of the Brill Graveyard. Hurry and be mindful of the knolls in the area. Alrighty. Will do. Let's turn in some quests here. What now? Embrace the shadow. Yes, this is very good. You've done well in obtaining this information, adventurer. Hmm. Names of the officers in the Tirisfall Glades. Imagine the blow we could deal to the morale of those bloody zealots if we were to kill their leaders in one swift strike. The documents Executor Aaron provided are just the break we needed in our battle with the wretched Scarlet Crusade. We now know their exact locations throughout Tirisfall Glades. But the Death Guard has larger concerns. The Lich King's army grows in number each night. We need someone with initiative like yourself to drive the Scarlet Crusade to the grave. Prove to me you are capable of serving the Dark Lady by traveling west to the tower past the Solidan farmstead and slay ten Scarlet Warriors. Okay. 
I am forsaken. You have performed your bidding well, young adventurer. You are proving yourself to be quite an asset to the Dark Lady's army. Harmless pumpkins, right? Or so it would seem. If we are to defeat Arthas' advances from the north and the human infestation from the south, we need to start realizing the full potential of our gift of undeath. With a little ingenuity, a simple pumpkin becomes an agent for our Dark Lady. This pumpkin, laced with my latest formula, will prove to be quite a treat. Yet another Scarlet Zealot has been captured and is being kept in the cellar of the Gallows End Tavern. Take this pumpkin to the fool. Lady <laughs> Sylvanas has called upon the Royal Apothecary Society. The oh, Dark Lady up. believes our knowledge coupled with the newfound magic will provide the key to Arthas's demise. She has challenged us to concoct a new plague, a plague deadlier than any ailment on Azeroth. This new disease will bring Arthas's scourge army to ruin. My studies show that the blood of beasts might prove to be the key. Bring to me five vials of Darkhound blood so I can test my theory. The mass graves, southwest of Garen's haunt to the north, were made to accommodate the impressive number of deaths Tirasfall suffered when the plague first came. The bodies in these graves have so far been spared and undeath, but the Scourge now send rot-hide gnolls to gather the corpses and use them to bolster their armies. This cannot be allowed. Your task is twofold. Slay the rot hides at the mass grave and Garen's haunt, and gather from them the embalming ichor that gives them life. Do you mean ichor? Ichor? <laughs> it's Igor. Sure. Alrighty, let's go check in. Horribly rude uh, innkeeper, innkeeper Renee. What? Rest your weary bones for a spell. Do not seek death. Do oh? A letter? Wonderful news! I've been waiting on word from my dear old mother in Death Knell. Such a saint she is. I wonder how she's holding up. What? Too cheery? Not buying it, are you? Well, get lost then. It's really no business who the letter's from anyway. Go on, get lost. Come back when you've got some coin to spend. Lofa. Next thing you know, you'll be coming back to rest after a long day's adventure or some stupid thing like that. I could have done a much better job Rest there. Rest your weary bones for a spell. Okay, there's... Uh, oh, wait, we need to sell this water. Rest your weary bones for a spell. Thank you. Oh, I didn't pick it up. Trust no one. All right. The mage trainer, I think, is up here. Right here, in fact. This is Kane Fighting. I'm an undead mage trainer, and you're a mage. <laughs> yes. Very astute. We'll do a conjure food. Can't do either one of these. Trust no one. Righty. There's the combo we saw earlier. So, conjure food. We'll put that here. And then the food we conjure. It's going to be garbage. I mean, it's the same as the, uh, the mushroom cap. So, actually, just don't worry about it right now. And then we have fire blast. So the way we're going to do this, is did that rank up? It did not. So let's put our rank two. This does 31 to 45 damage and three fire damage over six seconds. <laughs> A massive three damage over six whole entire seconds. Okay. So my opener, we're going to shift this up. That's instant. So what we're going to be doing here is changing these. Um, this is going to be that, and then that's going to be shift three. Here's our new rotation, and I think we're going to... Oh, we got to go. Let's do this quest. We're going to feed a pumpkin to a dwarf, and he's going to show us his ass. Oh, it's the human. I don't know what he does. By the light, finally some food. Sweet, sweet pumpkin. Don't get too into your lines. <laughs> Here we are. Alrighty. Well, I guess we'll take a load off here. But that'll do it for our second episode. We made it to Brill. 
we're on our way to vengeance. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Appreciate it. You guys, gals, take care. Susie and I will catch you in tomorrow's episode. Good luck. Peace.